Hello, welcome to another video on my attempt to rise 2400. The big news is that I have reached a third of the way there. This is a rapid play game. My racing is very, very close to 2350, so I'm nearly halfway there on rapid. But also, my uh, my classical rating is about 23.30, as is my blitz. So the average of those three is approximately 23.35. I have managed to get one third of the way there, so there is hope. Right, into this game. This is a rapid play match. I think I'm going to start with E5 in this Alapin Sicilian. E5 is sort of considered to be a interesting move at least yeah d4 so i think c takes is is technically best but i can't remember if c takes is better than e takes it was also knight c6 yeah actually yeah let's go knight c6 looks interesting generally what i don't want to do in these positions i don't want to take on d4 too early because when they take with their c pawn they then have knight c3 hitting my queen with tempo so i'm attempting to kind of um prevent them doing that. They do sometimes win a pawn on e5, but I'm fairly experienced, I think, in these positions. And what I found is that I end up getting to trade off queens on d1. Then things are looking fairly good for me. Now, I don't know why I can't do c takes. So let's do it, c takes. Aiming at their bishop. I'm guessing... Well, they could go c4, but... Castling also might be good. Not Sorry, not castling. Queen e2, I mean. Queen e2 then castling might be good. I'm actually not totally sure what to do after queen e2. Maybe knight e7. Oh no, bishop takes. Alright. Uh, do I take with the queen or pawn? I actually want to keep my queen in the centre where it's controlling lots of squares and it's protecting everything. So they've taken me, I think... Ooh, interesting. Now, I could take them, but I don't actually win anything with taking them. E4 is interesting, but knight c3 happens. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play a move that improves my pieces and also prevents them from developing. Bishop a6. This move may not be correct, but it looks really interesting to play. Also, queen e to e4 check could be very, very useful. Yeah, they've taken me. Right, time to launch my attack. Check. I'm hoping for knight d2. Ah. If they played knight d2, I could have played queen e4, mate. Alright, so they played this. I don't really want to trade queens yet. I could. But no, I'm not going to. Queen, queen c4 looks very aggressive. Ah, okay, they played a fairly good move, I think. They developed... Now, I could play rook d8, but I'm going to develop my pieces first with knight e7. This looks, looks like I've got something here for the pawn. Actually, they have knight d2, don't they? Oh, but knight d2, bishop takes c3, and I've won back my pawn that I sacrificed. They still can't castle. Yeah, I like this. Then I can either castle or play rook d8 next turn as a way to go after their queen. If they go queen b3, which I'm really hoping for, I have queen e2 checkmate. Queen e2 checkmate, because the knight can't take me as it's pinned by my b4 bishop. Trouble with reaching 2400 is that a lot of players who will... Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. Checkmate. Uh, that was a very, very quick game, but that's... That's good for me. I gained four, um, what you call it, four rating points. I'm now over 23.50 for, I think, the first time ever with rapid play. Now, I'm sure that this these moves can't have been right, but I am going to do a quick, uh, quick computer evaluation of the game. Okay, well, <laughs> oh wow, alright, so it's still going through it, but apparently, wow, okay, I made a 12 centre pawn loss average, oh, it's only over like 10 moves though, so it's not reliable, um, theirs was 94, because of that huge blunder made him 1, let's have a look, so basically, I played all theory of e5, knight c6 is also 
definitely playable, as is bishop g4. I do like e5. Knight c6, yeah, so taking is the, the line that I know best. Then I trade queens. Confused, there's a whole line here, apparently. Um, I go bishop g4, but apparently knight g7 is the computer's recommendation. Then bishop e6. I think the idea is to play knight g6 at any given moment to try and win back e5. Uh, h6, possibly going g5 with bishop g7, I think, would be, be white's plan. And then, yeah, knight d5, okay. Not wanting to trade off bishops. All right, so this is apparently a bit better for white, I would guess, but black has compensation for the material. Yeah, so, so bishop b5 I really don't like because of this attack with c takes. Bishop takes c6 is wrong. Yeah, I thought queen e2 might be stronger because it had hit, hit e5 as well as defended the bishop. Yeah, I was thinking of knight e7, but I couldn't really see further than this. Because if queen takes, trade... Uh, I don't know if I'd have taken on c3. It looks obvious now that a computer's recommended it, but I was thinking potentially of things like bishop d7, or maybe even playing f6. Alright, so apparently... Yeah, this does look reasonable, doesn't it? Castles, and even though they might win a pawn with the knight capture... And if I take with my knight, they can trade, take a7. So I may have to play b takes. And then walk into a horrible looking position, but one where I'm not quite losing. I'm, I'm, survi I'm surviving with my king. Uh, that may be best for white. With their bishop trading, I got the bishop pair and the center. They won back the pawn, so I am equal. And apparently bishop a6 is good. It may not be quite the best move, because it's giving white a slight uh, slight uh, uh, improvement instead of whatever I should do, maybe just taking it. But this move is the kind of complicated thing that leaves white in difficult positions. All sorts of uh, attacks on that diagonal, as you saw with the mate occurring. Yeah, and d takes e5, I'm really not certain that's right. Uh, apparently the computer likes it, but it seems to open the game up a lot for my two bishops. So when I check, yeah, this is the move I was hoping for. Knight d2, <laughs> and then queen e4, and they get mated just like the game. With They have to block with their queen, and then I take it. So knight c3, yeah, queen c4. My idea there was to play rook d8, and then try and force the queen off uh, from d1, so that they have to move it somewhere, and I may be able to checkmate them on e2, or just generally improve my position. And bishop e3, maybe I should do rook d8 here. Uh, knight e7 is apparently good for me. It's not a big advantage, though. It's only about two-thirds of a pawn, maybe, or four-fifths of a pawn. Yeah, knight d2 is what I thought they might play. Uh, do they have anything else, though? Do they have... Queen e2 doesn't work, because of bishop takes knight removing the defender, then I capture their queen. Queen c2 maybe maybe the best move. I'm not sure. How good is queen c2? Computer likes knight d2, but is this any good? Ooh, yeah, knight d5 gaining uh, a big attack on their c3 knight. Yeah. All right, so knight d2 is apparently correct. Obviously, queen b3 mate in one. But yeah, knight d2. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Queen takes. This is as far as I saw. I thought I was better. Rook c1. Oh, queen a5, not taking the pawn. I was going to say, why not just play like Smyslov? Just take the pawn. Take, uh, play simple. Oh, knight c4. So this move would potentially allow castling fairly soon. I would probably take, though, because we have opposite coloured bishops, which could be a draw in the ending. Now there's no bishops on either side. Knight d5 looks very good, but I haven't castled yet. Queen a5 might be right... I would maybe play Boring and Castle. They would Castle, and I'm a pawn up, but I think that, you know, White has comp, have compensation for this. It's about level. Alright, so maybe I would have misplayed it a little bit, but luckily they allow the mate, Queen b3, and that's it, game over. So Mason 12 move, moves a mini mini miniature. I'm not complaining though, beat a, someone who's nearly 2200, and got over 2350 for the first time so I'm now definitely one third of the way uh, to 2400 
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found something useful in this. And see you next time.